Hi guys, Spink here. This is episode 24 of Let's Learn Aegean Civil War 2. Um, I believe last episode we finished all of our movement and production and we were just ready to to execute the turn and, and see what happened. I have been thinking about what to do with McClellan here, whether or not he should um, attack Charlottesville. And as a player, I think this might be a good, possibly a good move to, to grab Charlottesville before it gets uh, much defense. But then trying to keep in mind my, my mindset here. It's 1861, well it's 1862 now, and this is McClellan. And that just doesn't sound like a very McClellan move. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave McClellan here. And uh, it is 1862 now, so I'm going to start... I'm going to start trying to get into an 1862 mindset, so a little more, a little less caution, a little more action. Um, I don't want to come in and approach this game with the, uh, you know, with the 1864 mindset yet. I wish there was more things in uh, uh, game mechanics-wise that that kind of slowed things down. You know, like the uh, command, the way the command um, structure evolves with divisions and then cores. Um, so where are we at? I think we're ready to start the start the turn. We wanted to see how our little uh, how our uh, invasion goes down here, and that should he should come ashore this turn and and see what happens. Uh, the if you recall, we learned an extremely expensive lesson on what happens when you drive past forts. And that was that was pretty foolish on my part, but it also kind of gave me an idea of wh what I need to do to get past one of these forts, especially when we're going to start doing some more direct assaults. We need ironclads, definitely. You know, these 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 uh, units here are are really not going to cut it. Um, so that's something else I got to be building. So, but that's okay. All right, so let's execute the turn. Now, one of the things I like to do in uh, in war games like this um, is I'll load up the uh, the scenario for the for the for the different years, the different start um, years, and kind of see what are what's the force makeup on uh, on the on the on the different scenario starts so I can kind of have an idea what I should be shooting for. I did that with the 1862 start just a while ago and saw that uh, it starts with eight um, blockade flotillas divided between the two blockade boxes. So I'm, I'm definitely behind the curve there. But that's just kind of a, I think, kind of a handy yardstick to, to, to plan your... Uh, to plan where you need to be um, build wise um, you know until you until you get the hang of stuff enough to to be able to make more of those decisions based on experience and whatnot all right division so he's now a division Floyd here I think they've pulled back from the oh, something going on there army of the Shenandoah oh he's pretty doggone strong now I'm also going to have to start moving some guys during this winter just so I can see how how bad it is. The AI is certainly doing it. I just don't don't want to throw away troops, you know, due to due to weather and supply issues. I just think that's unrealistic when you don't have to. Okay, so Baylor is coming up here through western New Mexico. We're going to need to get an idea of what's going on with him. All right. Not a great deal happened. Let's take a look at the messages. Um, the federal authorities in Western Virginia organized pro-union locals into a volunteer brigade for the USA. So we got a free, um, we got a free uh, brigade here of, of uh, three regiments of volunteer infantry. So that isn't too shabby. Simon Cameron has been replaced. That's our Secretary of War, who was. Uh, not 
the most competent. He uh, he was rewarded with a uh, he was doing some scheming, um, trying to get get in with the uh, with the hardcore the hardcore uh, faction in uh, in Congress, and Lincoln uh, rewarded him for his scheming by making him the secretary or the ambassador to to Russia. So he was almost literally banished to Siberia. Okay, because of the huge stocks of steel left untouched, the Secretary of War canceled a few contracts with private entrepreneurs. Oh, so we gained $50 and we lost 50 war supplies. Oh, so if your stockpile in your, uh, of, of your war supplies gets too high, that'll sell some of them off. Hmm, 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 hmm. that kind of maybe isn't something we would otherwise care for, so we're going to have to be sure to, to be using those. We've issued the war bonds, we've started some ironworks, the Confederacy is building arsenals, and winter conditions have lost us to rail capacity. Okay, mm -hmm. the battles one. C Confederate States of America surrendered to us in Winchester, Virginia. So, thanks. Good. So we gained a national morale there. Then the Atlantic fleet has bombarded Beaufort Garrison. I don't see anything about... Okay, so we're here now, and we're besieging... We're besieging these guys. We probably should have put these guys on a... Um, on an assault posture, and then we would have uh, possibly attacked that unit, or the uh, the forts from the start. But I think we're in good shape here. Um, Mississippi delayed. Various detachment wear and tear. Kind of the stuff you would expect. Street strategic deployment of our 62 generals pool. The monitor is now active. Okay. Replacements uh, successfully trained. So McClellan successfully trained up some more of his units. The uh, New England uh, blockade squadron here received another one of its units. We got some units that are the artillery are trained up here in Madison, Wisconsin. The field hospital in Cairo and some some stuff down there. Um, what do we got here? While taking Winchester, we captured 14 supply carts and 13 crates of ammunition. We gained control there. We took Warsaw over here. See what our military control is. It's basically nothing at the moment. Okay, so I believe Winchester was a was a strategic town. So if we look in our objectives here, we're now up to 44 per turn that we're, we're gaining from taking some of these. I think we're definitely going to need to pick up the pace a bit if we're going to overtake the uh, Confederates here. But that's that's kind of an 1862 thing as far as I'm concerned, picking up the pace somewhat. Um, our habeas corpus was unsuccessful in Harper's Ferry and Central California. Extensive defensive works have been ordered by the United States in Region Stafford, Virginia. So, I'm guessing this guy just it just added to his uh, to his uh, entrenchment level. Perhaps it uh, perhaps it maxed it out. I don't know. And we have our our. Uh, Our habeas corpus uh, attempts from earlier uh, turns have fired now have completed, so we now see Southern California is up to 66% Unionist sentiment there, so Central California is only at 55. Uh, Anne Arundel, is it? That's, that's come up. We're at 66%, 67%, 75% in the capital, so that's good. So I think those are, those are probably good enough now. We've got our telegraph lines being built. Our shipping lines are, are building it, bringing in even less war supply now. I'm not sure what what determines that. Okay, so that's the messages. Um, this force here, we still have Jackson's detachment. And we have Robert Hoke with a division. 
I'd like to get some more force back down here on the peninsula here so that we can uh, so that we can at least have a threat down here to force the Confederacy to, to keep some, some force down there. Something else to think about is maybe invading here in Suffolk and taking Norfolk back. Um, let's see out. What are we doing here? There's had a unit up here. He's gone. Did he run away or did he did he get destroyed? Three units here. So these guys are finally trying to shelter from the uh, from the from the weather harsh weather here. I think we're going to send out a cavalry unit to to move through some of that and just kind of get a handle on what what kind of of damage it's going to cause to us. Um see how our supply is building up here. Still don't really have much supply here. It's not we're not getting any received yet from here. Oh did our depot actually be constructed? Yeah our depot's here. But it's not really drawing any supply down here yet, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that, figure out what exactly is going on. Um this area has sent quite a bit of supply out, so we'll get our we'll get our uh, our military units down here. Possibly our our forces here um, pulled all the supply, but we'll get these down here and get some supply built up and head down, take over Arizona. Okay, we're building our depot here. I wonder if now I did look in the. Uh, in the 1862 start, and uh, that starts with a depot back here in Mora. Maybe that would have been a smarter move, but I think this will be okay, putting it here in Santa Fe. Um, let's see, I guess it's time to just go through the go through the units and see see where we're at. Um, this unit, he'll just stay there. Okay, here's some artillery that we built. We've got three of them, and two of them are done. Um, since they're built in Wisconsin, they're going to be for the west here. I don't remember exactly where I was going to put them, but I'll take them down here. And then we can move them to either side accordingly. Maybe they were for Kansas, Kansas, for uh, Kentucky. Um, Dahlgren is, is open now. He is a an admiral. So here's somebody that we should have leading our fleets. Here's that other squadron that we were um, building back up. So they've got two left to go. And the monitor. So why don't we take Dahlgren and just stick him with the monitor. And bring them down to Hampton Roads. Seems like a thing. Alright, Griffin's Force. There's no supply out here. I'm gonna wait. Uh, he needs to wait for his uh, supply, his supply train to get to be uh, created, and then he'll we'll start thinking about moving him down to Lawrence. I'm thinking. What else does he have here? This pack train. I'll just stick that in his force so we remember it's there. This uh, militia unit that I had. Uh, was going to move over to Lawrence. I should have just built it there. Maybe that's a force we can do. We can, you can be the guinea pigs. Twenty days. We're going to go out to Lawrence and see what the, see what the weather's going to do to us. Um, volunteer brigade. That's right here in Morgantown. Uh, we might as well stick him in here with uh, Milroy's force. It's starting to, starting to thaw out here. I believe we did see um, Floyd retreat from Charleston to Covington or possibly to Lewis, Lewisburg down here. I think um, I think um, the supply situation, just they weren't getting enough supply out to here would be my guess. Contrabands, Milroy, Banks. Banks has taken 
um, has taken uh, Winchester here, and that is a strategic town. So the uh, Confederacy is, is probably going to try to get that back. Um, we want to think about taking Strasbourg here. He's got a division, two divisions here. Two divisions. Um, do we have any cavalry here? We need to get some cavalry up here. We talked about that before. We need to get some cavalry up here to get a handle on, help get a handle on what's going on with these units here. I don't really want to jump into them blind. All right, this unit needs an additional cavalry, or uh, excuse me, artillery. Get these artillery pieces put in that we had brought up for these guys. Artillery batteries. Up, oh, he's got too many. He's already 17 left. We'll Rejigger them. Okay, now something else I noticed. These guys have this strong morale trait, and these are not the traits that the divisions had, or that the leaders had. They're getting that from their units, these, uh, these uh, elite units that these guys have. Each of them have an elite unit in their division, so that's where that's coming from. So that's that's good. It would also tend to, to suggest that you wouldn't want to put... Um, Maybe you wouldn't want to put a uh, more than one of those in a uh, in a division. All right, you've got two. He's got one. This guy has two. That's probably sufficient for being in Winchester. I wonder if we do want to maybe just do a an attack down this way just to just to kind of see what's what here. We'll attack down here from Winchester. We got a, a fairly strong force here. We don't have a um, we don't have a command penalty. We can even bring another division in with this guy. That's something to think about. What do we've got here? We've got one division here. This guy needed to have his artillery added in. Oh, but he's full. Can't get it. Hmm. Planning. All right, let's divide him up. Let's grab Maryland. Yeah, we'll just take that first U.S. out. And that'll leave us room. And then we'll send we'll send that back to Washington to be used elsewhere. some artillery there. Um, I'm going to kind of leave these here to, to, to block any any movement into, into Manassas for now. Um, Johnston is, is pretty stout here. Hmm, 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 hmm. We could think about coming in here. Once we're, well, we're not strong enough to really um, to go after um, Johnston directly yet, but uh, we do have the opportunity to come across rather than attacking him in straight cross river to to do it from this side. But since he's pretty stout, this river is kind of protecting us too at the moment. So what are we looking like for military control? That's a hundred percent, hundred percent. I like to have this up above seventy-five percent to prevent the uh, to prevent the Confederacy from being able to move supply through stuff. That's something I've learned. I need to you know, that we're going to need to be doing, maybe not so much in this region, but um, farther up. Did we have the cavalry here? We do have the cavalry here. I'm going to take one of these cavalry regiments and bring him around here. We'll put him by rail, see if we can get him there a little quicker. Yeah. And that'll let us start um, scoping out what's going on over here a little bit. I think we are a little... We need to get a, a good cavalry scouting force going on here. Um, let's get a second. I think I'm just going to leave leave Hooker here for now. Maybe take Shields back to uh, Washington. He's not needed here. Barry, he's going to build up the military control here and then take this. And then I believe this division may be what we're going to end up putting back down here on the peninsula. Um, what are you supposed to be? Where are we at here? What is this? All 
Oh, this is. Uh... Oh, we got more of these. These are more of those. Uh, of those. Uh... Did we? Did it say we get some more Kentucky brigades? I don't recall. But we got some more. Oh, we yeah, we got some more units that uh, showed up at, at Camp Dick Camp Dick Robinson, I believe. So um, we've got enough force here to start thinking about um, bringing it, building up another division for Hurl, but perhaps Thomas has not got the the ability to to command all of that. Um, effectively, but but we'll start getting that going. Or did I build them over here? To I don't think I built them. Very, very, very. Rala, 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 rala. We had a okay. Starting to get mud now. So oh, harsh weather, deep cold, harsh weather, storm. Yeah, I think these guys will stay put. Now we need to start thinking about bringing. Uh, Thomas is forced. Did we have anybody else we were going to join him with? This uh, cavalry unit. Let's bring this cavalry unit down here as well on our experimental turn here. Um, all the leaders now showed up here for, for Halleck's forces. We do have three brigades that we built here as well. Let's get them into Halleck's command. Oops. Did Halleck form an army? Not yet. So we've we've got these three armies out. That's that's the maximum we can have. So we've got a little bit of artillery. I think this is part of this is going to be uh, Wallace's artillery here. He's sitting here at 16 elements. Does he have any of these? Now I'm going to grab this Western Brigade. That should fit in there just fine. And that's going to give him that strong morale because that's going to apply to all the units that the element is in. So that's that's good. When that, uh, when that brigade comes in, when you put that one of those elite brigades into your division, it makes the entire division better. More so than just its uh, fire, its increased firepower. It's going to make everybody else better. So that's that's kind of nice. Um, we're starting to build up enough force here that I think we're we're probably free to to bring Wallace out. Maybe we'll we'll bring him and link him up with uh, with Grant, and then uh, kind of turn Grant loose a little bit and see what he can do for us. So what if we were to do this? Bring him here by, by our river riverine. Bring him across to here. And back to we have Morel's force. Oh this was our cavalry force. What we were gonna what were we going to do with those? Um I know what I'm gonna do with those. Um, where's our division generals? We're going to put Phil Carney in charge of that. Oh, this is working out pretty good. And then morale between the two of them. We don't have a command penalty. So he has got a cavalryman ability, 25% combat bonus for all cavalry units. Okay, not too shabby. Um, the other, let's see, who needs some, some, let's see if we can distribute some of these guys. French has an artillery ability, and he is a slow mover. And then Crittenton is just Crittenton. This unit is reckless, Ricketts. Um, how are we doing on leaders up here? We could use some more leaders. So we'll come down here and grab, say, these two guys, send them here. And let's grab, say, a couple of these and send back here. Just to ensure we've got a little bit of leadership where we need it. 
Um, hmm, do we have enough leaders? I think we've got enough out here. You know what the heck? Let's uh, reckless. Yeah, let's bring him out here, Mr. Reckless. Let's bring him to Joseph, Missouri here. Actually, rather than do that, let's use the redeploy command and get him there. Um, actually, why don't we grab another one? No, that's enough. Okay, so what's next? Grant, I think, is just going to... Well, the weather's kind of clearing, isn't it? It's mud. Nine days, get here in the mud. I think we're going to do that. Leave him on offense. If there's nothing here, we do have uh, Wallace coming in behind him. I think that's going to work pretty good. So that's what we're going to do. Um, not much down here, possibly. Militia come down to take Humboldt or Fort Henry. I wonder which would be more useful to try to take Fort Henry. Fort Henry is, uh, if they get that uh, fortified, that will... Uh, know block the Tennessee River as far as us being able to use that for for supply and movement and ditto over here on the Cumberland with uh, Stewart Tennessee that's going to be Fort Donaldson there oops kind of running out of time got to quit uh, paying, att start paying attention here okay there's so there's Grant Carson's brigade is just again gonna sit here our pack trains are waiting for the rest of the force to come up Carson, I think I'm going to have Carson fall back to Santa Fe. So they're going to fall back to Santa Fe. All right, here's our uh, our invasion force here. We're besieging this. We're going to put those to an assault. We will assault these uh, fortifications here, such as they are. Getting ready to start uh, start moving out here now that the weather's starting to clear. This is leaders. Seventh Union Detachment. Oh, this is some more force coming down. We don't have enough for a division just yet. We do have a cavalry unit. I'm going to send this cavalry unit over here as well. And while we're at it, um, who are we going to send? I don't think we've got like a green. He is a engineer. This guy looks cool. Let's send him. Oh, Palmer. We'll send Palmer. So I'm going to put Palmer with Stone's Brigade. He's going to meet up with that other cavalry unit we put over there. And we'll... This guy's got three command costs for a for a two regiment thing. I don't, don't care for that. And we're going to start using them to scout out what's going on over there. Um, what else we have in McDowell's command? Bring him down here just so we can see him. Starting to build up enough. We're going to have enough force here for another uh, division once we get some more infantry down here. Uh, these uh, pioneer force in the pontoon ability this is going to help us in sieges and river crossings and as well as the engineers so we'll put those in with uh, with McClellan when when they're completed Fremont you know what let's just go completely nuts here and move Fremont up to Rolla Starting advancing, starting some, some advancing going on here now. Lion, 
sitting here. We've been waiting for the waiting for the weather to turn. Deep cold storm. And then we're gonna head for Springfield. Thomas. At some point we're gonna wanna have a have a an advance down to bowling green. Um, our supply situation still seems to be not awesome. supply through to here. Hopefully that will improve as, as, as it starts working its way through the system. Here's just our leaders hanging out here. We'll just leave them there as our... Well, why don't we stick them in with Halleck? There we go. with the idea of attacking this unit. A single division. Jackson is also here. I think I'm just going to leave him. Okay, naval forces, our transports are sitting there. We're going to need to be building some more naval trans or uh, river transports too, so we can uh, kind of use the rivers as avenues of, uh, of, of invasion. Okay, so now we have our uh, blockade is back up here. That's presumably due to the uh, quantity of ships we have here. I believe these are both out in Hampton Roads, aren't they? Yeah. Transports, foot, sitting here. Let's bring those back to Alexander or uh, to Carol here to uh, recover some uh, some cohesion and re and get resupplied. <coughs> this is our blockade squadron. The fleet. I don't think we need to keep these guys here anymore. I think we're gonna go back and lick our wounds this way around so we don't uh, we don't come up against any of these forts again. We need to get these uh, let's see he went I didn't want him to go that way. Well I guess it's just the uh, he's not actually cutting through here I don't think. Um mm -hmm. let's bring these up to New York I think. New York has got good um, facilities for that. If we look here in New York, yeah, in the garrison we have a naval yard engineer, speeds up naval construction and repairs. So, all right, scouting squadron in here, transports. I think that is it for the movement, and we're out of time. So next episode we'll do, we'll start with the production, like like we seem to seems to be how that's starting to settle down to. So I will save this turn, and I will see you next time. <laughs>